Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make four fall DIYs that you can do for under $5 each with mostly Dollar Tree supplies. Hello friends, my name is Leslie and welcome to Happy Tuesday where we do crafts and DIYs and home decor and more. Even though it's still over 100 degrees outside, inside it's cool and I'm ready for fall. So let's get started. Get our supplies together. First, we're going to need this package of words from Dollar Tree. It's in their fall section and it comes in a package of six. We're also going to need this home sign, also from Dollar Tree, and a package of stir sticks that I found at Home Depot. They come in a package of 10 and they run about a dollar and a quarter. So very similar to the Dollar Tree prices. The next thing we're going to do is remove this felt flower off of the sign and then take the sign out of the frame. There's always that one thing in a project that if you knew now what you find out later you wouldn't have done this. So I'm thinking it's a really good idea at this moment to take the paper off and it's not coming off and you'll see later that I probably just should have left well enough alone because you can't see this sign any part of it after we get the stir sticks on it. The next thing I did is to measure for the stir sticks so that I know how long to cut them so that they fit on the entire sign. Now I'm going to use my miter box and get this cut down to size, but if you don't have a miter box, then you could either use a craft utility knife or maybe some miter shears if you have those. Now I'm going to cut all 10 pieces the exact same size, and to make sure before I cut them all down, I am going to put this sign back in the frame, make sure that it all fits because the old adage is measure twice and cut once. got all 10 pieces cut I'm gonna sand down the edges on each piece to make sure that the edges are smooth I'm using my sanding block that I've had from Home Depot for a long time but they carry them at Dollar Tree in the hardware section I'm gonna use my handy dandy desk vacuum and clean up my work area and then here's where I start making my next mistake I thought it would be a great idea to paint over this sign since I couldn't get the paper off but you'll notice the paint starts bubbling up and I'm gonna have to rip it off and I can't leave well enough alone so as you'll see I'm ripping paper and sanding and then I'm gonna take a little bit more paint and put it over the area that was still left with the paper on it which again I didn't need to do any of this Alrighty, so moving right along, I'm going to get out my stir sticks and my white chalk paint by Waverly and paint each one of the stir sticks. Now you'll notice I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like to make sure all the edges are done and all the ends are done and everything has a nice thick coat of paint, but you don't need to do all that if you don't want to. You could just put a light coat of paint and let some of the wood show through, or you could stain them if you'd like. After I got all 10 of those painted, I decided to let them sit there and air dry while I painted the words. Now you'll notice there are six of them and I decided to paint each one of them a different color. I've got my fall colors out. I've painted one pumpkin, one truffle, one maize, one hazelnut, one moss, and one crimson, all uh, chalk paint from Waverly. All right, it's almost time to get this all put together, but before I do, I'm gonna get out my brown ink pad that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I am going to give these pieces a little bit of rustic look to them, make them look a little bit more like shiplap. Now I 
instead of getting out a brush just use the ink pad itself and rub it along the edges and that gives a nice good look to me then I'm going to put this all together I'm going to glue this inside the frame onto the sign and then glue the whole thing together in the frame because the pieces are so heavy then I will arrange my words to the where I like them and then I will add on some stickers just to give it a little bit more fall feel Here it is, all ready to style in your home. It can either sit like this on a table or it can be hung up. Getting ready to go into project number two, I'm going to use this Happy Fall little square box picture that I bought at Dollar Tree. And I found an old puzzle that I had had that was missing some pieces. So I'm gonna place the puzzle pieces all over this little pumpkin area until I've filled it up to my liking and uh, it still resembles a pumpkin. All right, now that I've got all the puzzle pieces on that I want on and it's covered up the pumpkin in the way I like it, I'm going to get my chalk paint out by Waverly in the color pumpkin. And I'm going to give it a really good coat of paint getting into all the nooks and crannies and crevices and everywhere to make sure that it has a good thick coating. Now that I've got that looking the way I want it to look, I pulled out some of this burlap roll that I got from Dollar Tree cut a little piece that I am going to glue on and use for the stem. I decided the pumpkin looked a little bit flat and so I got a brush out and my brown ink pad that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I'm giving it a little bit of detail of the pumpkin creases and around the edges uh, just to give it a little bit more interest and, and make it feel like it pops out of the frame just a little bit more. Then I'm going to put on my little plastic finger, rubber finger things, what are they called? Silicone fingers, there we go, uh, that I bought at Dollar Tree so I don't burn myself trying to wrap this burlap around the stem of the pumpkin. And I've decided to give it a little bit more, so I pulled this pit berry piece off of a, a pick that I had in my stash and wound it around the paintbrush to make it look like tendrils and grabbed some leaves and added those in and then I am going to start working on my bow. Unfortunately, I started cutting the pieces for this ribbon, this messy bow mostly off camera. So I just decided what size I wanted it and I picked some of my favorite Dollar Tree ribbons and some burlap and a little bit of this white cotton piece that I cut off a dish towel and some raffia and wrapped it all together to make this little bow that I'm gonna stick up on the corner of this frame. It was about this point that I decided it needed just a little bit extra, so I found this brown tag that I had bought at Dollar General and I'm cutting it down to size. I want it to be big enough to fit the stamp letters that I have, but not too big to cover up my pumpkin. So I'm going to use these stamp letters that I found at Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna use my brown ink pad, 
And I'm going to make a little rustic kind of vintage looking tag here to go on this bow. Once I've got that tag all stamped and rusticed up and folded and bent the way I like it, I'm going to grab a piece of twine and I'm going to wrap it around this bow and then I am going to hot glue this whole thing onto the corner of that frame. And here we are, all completed and ready to be styled in your home. Moving on to project number three. You'll see that this one takes a few twists and turns. We're going to start out with this pumpkin that I bought at Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the twine and this little raffia bow with this little scraper thing that I also bought at Dollar Tree. Now I've already picked my scrapbook pages that I'm going to use that you see over on the side and I'm going to paint the entire thing white using my Waverly chalk paint that I bought at Walmart. Once I got it all painted how I wanted it, I pulled out my heat gun to make that drying process a little bit faster and then just bypass the whole measuring and cutting of the scrapbook paper. At this point I've decided that it would probably be better as a trio than a singular pumpkin and so I've pulled out some more scrapbook paper that all coordinates together that I bought over at Hobby Lobby on sale and then I pulled out two more of the raised pumpkins and got them painted white as well. Now that I've got all that white paint done, I'm going to take the pieces that I already cut and use them as templates for cutting the scrapbook pages in the shapes that I needed for all three pumpkins. I learned this cool Mod Podge hack from some of my favorite YouTubers and so I'm going to use that method to get the scrapbook paper onto these pumpkins. If you haven't heard of this hack, first you put the Mod Podge on the areas that you want to do and then you let it completely dry. I'm going to use a variety of drying methods here. I'm going to pull out my heat gun and I'm also going to just let it air dry while I work on the base. But here you can see I'm getting that Mod Podge all spread good on this raised part of the pumpkins and I'm going to do that to all three. The reason this works so well is because then you're not getting bubbles or wet areas or wrinkles in your scrapbooking paper and it has an excellent stick to it. While those pieces continue to dry just a little bit longer, I am using this little word sign that I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like 69 cents and I'm going to give the whole thing a good couple of coats of Waverly chalk paint in the color ink um, to use as my base. This is what I will be gluing my pumpkins to so that they can stand up in a nice little trio.
once I've got that all good and painted the way I want it, I'm going to then grab my pumpkins and a little bit of parchment paper that I got from Dollar Tree, and I am going to place the parchment paper over the paper that I'm going to be ironing on, and I am going to iron it on with my mini press from Cricut and just give it a good run through over the paper and I'm going to repeat this for the next two pieces on here as you can see I just spent a couple of seconds ironing it on and those pieces are good and stuck so I'll finish this pumpkin and then do the same thing for each of the other two pumpkins I noticed as I was checking the edges that some of the paper was just hanging over a slight bit and being the perfectionist that I am, I wanted to sand those off so that they were clean, smooth edges. Then I pulled out my brown ink pad from Hobby Lobby and I gave a nice little rustic coat along the edges of the outside edges and the raised edges and a little bit over the scrapbook paper to give it a nice rustic look. Then I found this thankful word in my stash that I bought from Dollar Tree last year. It came in a package of two and they are leather words, but I noticed it didn't pop off the page very well. So I decided to give it a little coat of black, uh, actually it's ink, colored paint by Waverly, chalk paint. And then I pulled out some twine and alternating twine and hot glue. I wrapped it around the stem of this pumpkin give it a little bit more texture. The next thing I'm going to do after I've gotten this done to all three pumpkins is I'm going to pull out some little pit berries and I am going to wrap those around the top of the pumpkin making little tendrils with my pen and then grab a variety of little ribbons and different colors to make a messy bow to put at the top of my pumpkin. I've got thankful glued on, I've got the bow glued on, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of raffia to this just to give it that much more texture and interest, and then I'm gonna start putting it all together. Now you'll notice I am checking the location of those two side pumpkins to make sure that the sign stands up once the pumpkins are glued on, and then I want this thankful pumpkin to be raised off of the sign just a little bit more. And so I pulled some square wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and painted them black and I am hot gluing them on and then I will hot glue the thankful pumpkin on top of these blocks. That I had that all glued together I decided that it looked just a little bit bare still so I pulled out these leaves that I got from a Dollar Tree pick and I found the paper sunflowers also from Dollar Tree and I got those added on um, you'll notice that they have a wire piece on the back side so I cut that off before I glued it on and here we are all complete what are you thankful for this year? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Well, hello again. So today I promised you four different projects that you could do for your fall decor under $5 each. But funny story, as I thought I was filming the first project, I found out later I didn't. I took pictures. So each time I thought I was hitting the button to record, it was actually just taking a photo. And I thought the project was too cute to not bring it to you. So I'm just gonna walk you through what you need to do this and how I did it. And that way, if you wanna recreate it, you could do it too. So here is what I made, this cute little pumpkin. And the supplies you need are obviously the Scrabble tile letters, 
This is a leather leaf that I bought at a, in a package from Dollar Tree. I put together a little messy bow, and this piece here was actually part of one of the original pumpkins that I cr used this to create. A stem that I bought from Dollar Tree, but you could also just go pick one up in your yard. And then two of these, and I'll post a picture here, uh, signs, pumpkin signs that I bought at Dollar Tree. So what I did was I gave each sign a coat of white chalk paint by Waverly, and then I distressed it a little bit. I made some squiggly lines to give it some character and to outline the pumpkin, which you can see a little more clearly on this side. And then I took hot glue and wood glue and glued the two pieces together. I also, if you'll notice in the picture, uh, the each thing had two little ribs on each side and I took those off. I didn't wanna work around those. Obviously that would need to be done before you got started. Added a little bit of the berry garland on both sides just to kind of act like a tendril. So I wrapped that around my pen and then I glued the pieces all together and put the give thanks on it. And voila, there you are. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today and doing these four projects. I really enjoyed our time together. I look forward to the next time. So until then, make it a great day. Happy Tuesday!